Hey guys, Dr. Prometheus here back with some more of our Rex somewhat ladder save here. Skybat League One. We're gonna have three games today, spread out over about a month in game. So gonna be a lot of games actually being between these three today. This will kind of give us an idea of how the table is gonna be looking. We're out of the Carabao Cup. We only have the Papa John's trophy to worry about, which will be more youngsters and reserve guys playing that until probably after the group stage. Then we might think about playing more of our senior players into that kind of mix in the rotation. We have, I believe Paul Mullen is coming back off injury now. And we're going to see him kind of tagged up with Ali Palmer, who's on a hot streak. So we'll see if that keeps on going. Cad will be the guy that comes in probably for Palmer or Mullen, depending on their tiredness. But we'll see what kind of happens up top with Figueroa also being a shadow striker. So without further ado, let's get right into this one. So I'm excited for this one. So here is the outlook. We're going to be playing Burnley under 21s, uh, probably on a faster uh, not really extended look with that. Rotterdam's fourth in the table, so we kind of want to see how that shakes up with us. And then I'll play three games between with some of the lower table teams. And then we'll be back with Swansea to round out the end of the episode. So Burnley under 21s. Obviously, I have my starter still in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously save this is the league starting 11 maybe i've already done this i have no idea but here's our league starting 11 and then we can easily put that back in so with this we'll have cad come in for mullen uh, let's go bashiru back here for actually let's have jordan davies Play there. Hassan is going to come out on the wing back. Eli Campbell in the middle. Enoma has now signed with us, so he's going to be on the defense. Bale is actually uh, suspended for this game. But Charlie Allen here at the Scundo Volante. Uh, Griever is actually working on his Shadow Striker. So maybe we'll put him... Let's put him actually up top. Griever, Cad, and Figueroa. We'll have those three up there. Wickens is going to come in as the goalkeeper. Um, Hayden's going to come in for the wing back on the outside. We could go. But I'm thinking about this. Shiru can play anywhere up top. And with Griever with this injury, he actually failed his fitness test. So we're going to pop this around like so. We'll have Palmer up if we need him. Otherwise, we'll kind of go through. With this one, this will be who we have starting. Wickens and Cole, Hayden Campbell, and uh, Yoma on defense. Jack Hosanna as the wing backs. Allen and, and the Davies in the middle. Defensive mid. Dali Bashiru, the shadow striker with Figueroa, and Cad up on the top. So, let's kind of see how this works. I think I'm going to put Davies here. And Allen will be kind of that guy there. Actually, now I've changed my mind yet again. Okay. Can Allen play up top? Let's get a good first touch. I don't know. We'll play him here. It's all good. We'll submit the team. We'll play positive and uh, we'll kind of see how this goes. I know they're lacking in, uh, in fitness, but we'll see. We shall see. Uh, this episode shouldn't be as dark. I kind of noticed that I kind of take uh, took off the Elgato bits. So 
shouldn't be as dark. We'll be good. I have some weird stuff to where sometimes it looks darker and sometimes it doesn't. Maybe it's just my eyes or the uh, screen. It's probably more so the screen. I don't know. Let's kick the soft pizza trophy time. Let's go with the key highlights in this one. Of course, it's giving encouragement to the boys. Davies did not like that. Cat up to Figueroa with the speed. And Figueroa trying to be cute with that and dink the keeper and it goes over the net instead. Allen to Enoma. We played with Enoma, I think, before. Last season, he was at uh, Sheffield United, I think, when we took uh, actually control of it. And he played actually pretty well. So we'll kind of see how that works. Hayden. Mashiru out to Jack. Going to cross it in. Cad with the header. And that's in. I expect us to win this game against Burnley and punch our ticket in to the next round. And if that is the case and we actually do that, then uh, we win this game. We go up to six and no one else can really uh, beat us. There's a Noma with the stop. Sound might sound a little bit differently. Ooh, come on. I'm using DTS sound, so you should hear a little bit more with that. I particularly have it for playing Escape from Tarkov, which is pretty nice. So we'll kind of see how that works for all the other games, but loving it so far. Things seem a bit more crisp. more surround if i should say brown looking campbell that is a risky tackle i will say risky tackle but i like how scrappy he has been i like the speed that figueroa has oh come on yeah I'd play on is well allen's not gonna take that figueroa how did he hit the near side post? It hit the near side post. How do you achieve that one? We'll praise the boys. So Mullen's getting his fitness back. We'll obviously play him later on in the game. And once he gets his fitness, Technically all the way up is Dele Bashiru over the keeper. And that's, I thought he, I thought we had another one go over the net there. 2-0 to Wrexham over Burnley under 21s. But I mean, this is Burnley under 21. So there's that. We kind of expected this. This is why we went to uh, key highlights. And then we'll have extensive highlights for the other two games. I do like extensive highlights because it allows us to kind of interact with the game a bit more as opposed to just watching us get absolutely crushed or crush other teams. It allows us to have some more tactical inputs. As Anoma tries to just put his foot there, the cross isn't there. That's a risky one. Is this a better team? This risky pass here would have been a goal. What a run. And Dylan Syme has that. That's that's an easy goal. Wickens has to either decide to stay on this line or come out. You, you can't play around this box here or around this line. It opens the goal up too much and he's up by the PK line. Uh, yeah, he's playing up by the PK line. You, you can't do that. I kind of figured we'd also have a lot of key highlights.
Maybe we're gonna run on defense. Let's turn there's Allen. He can't turn it or he doesn't want to. Still doesn't turn it though. Davies will. Allen. Cad trying to put a good through ball. But do I still have through balls or pass into space? Uh, let's take that off. Let's, t let's take pass into space off. It doesn't mean they won't pass into space. They just won't do it as often. It's not a priority. Because that shot is way wide. Allen turn over the Jack. Jack takes a shot. And Wooster is able to corral that pretty, pretty easily. We're not in the air. Jack wants to go deep with it. That's a smart play. Osana making a run. What a shot by Tom Daly Bashiru. Did he just do a somersault? That was a fantastic shot, though. That was a good rifle. What is his uh, actual shooting? His long shots are 12. Makes sense. Makes sense is good for his long shot. Yeah, so Davies is going to come out. And so is Jack, I think. At the half. So we're going to put... Actually, we can't put uh, there. Let's go... Um, Let's go... Shiru back. Figaro back. Paul Mullen will come up top. And then... Uh, Campbell playing the right doesn't and no one can play up here and we'll have Masterson come back here we'll do that it'll be our change there doing brilliantly okay there it goes and we'll make those changes because we know that Paul Mullen needs to get his fitness up a little bit. I don't, I think it's bugged. There it goes. We know that Paul Mullen needs to get his fitness up. We'll make some changes up here. Like now, probably. Uh, let's go... Go Bashiru up here. Let's move back. Masterson. From here we'll have uh, Alfred come in. And Noma can play this. Let's keep Charlie Allen here. Uh, is anyone else? Starters. Actually pulled this, I think. This is probably best. Then we'll take Shiru back to where Campbell is. We'll put in Palmer. Palmer will come up here and then here we'll put in uh, we'll 
put in Rainer. Rainer can play that right now. Okay, there we go. Get a little break up top. I know we'll probably score a couple needless goals, but it happens. Like Rainer scoring a needless goal there. Hey, it's all right. The biggest thing is getting Mullen back up to fitness is what we're doing. Completely up to, uh, up to it. But we can knew we're going to make some of these changes in the first place. Bali is still out because we did actually try to appeal it. He got an extra two game suspension. So I think he's going to be out for the next two or three games. We're going to be without him. And so that means we need to be able to survive. And that's where uh, Ioma comes in. He can play defense. He can play wing and we can kind of survive that. And then if Hayden ends up leaving, we can kind of go from there full time. This is a 4-1 win over Burnley in their under-21s. I mean, it was good work. Their under-21s, we qualify. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy with that one. As we do, let's make sure we do qualify here. Two goals for Deli Bashiru. Like that. Let's make sure we did. Uh, we have not yet. Is it? Don't we only play three games in that? The borrow is here. Three. Oh, we haven't locked it up because Burnley can still technically, if they win, they play Tranmere. Is that what it is? I think they play Tranmere. Let's look at Tranmere because that just seems much more rational. We're doing schedule. Okay, yeah, Tranmere plays Burnley under 21s. Not Burrow. So we play Burrow in our next one, I think. Yeah, so if we win this, we're in, but at the end of the day, even if we lose this, I don't think we're going to lose it by six goals uh, in combination. So I'm going to play this game against Grimsby. We'll be back in that cut to play Rotterham, and then it's off to Swansea. So we'll be back. Rotterham game. All right, here is Rotterham. We are playing our starters, and we have a very heavy fixture congestion here. With games just about every three days for the next couple of weeks in game so it's going to be a bit of a rotation as games go through we did lose the last one to grimsby uh one nil just could not get any offense going and it kind of showed in the stat line so we're not going to play past the space. We're giving it away too much, but we will play everything else uh, kind of straight up as we normally do. And starting Mullen and Palmer up top, Figaro is back off international duty. Valley is back from being suspended with Hat on the other wing back. Knight in Oakley Booth is back. Uh, Oakley Booth himself is back from injury. Ulford Matcherson and Awalu in the back line and Maxwell in goal. So. Maybe it'll be a little bit more with some uh, better play from Tashan Oakley Booth, but uh, we'll, we'll kind of see how it is. We've kind of played better with him, obviously, on the field. And I think we're to the point where maybe we need a little bit more turnover on the team. But we'll kind of see how that goes long term. As I think we are probably a top of the table team. But just on the cusp of being a playoff one. 
so we're in the, or the top half of the table i'm not sure if we'll be able to keep going and actually be in the playoffs but we'll see what we can do to move the ball around here oakley booth that is much better going deep there to paul mullen and thomas just selects to kick it out of bounds I like that movement there by Oakley Booth. Knight has not been bad. But he has not been the best until today. Until he gives the ball away again. Okay. Maybe that's just what they play in Man City and they just rely on Erlen Holland to do everything. Which is not a bad strategy when you have Erlen Holland, but it is a bad strategy when you're trying to play the Vanarama. Or not the Vanderbilt National League, but the uh, but Skybet League One. You need more production out of your midfield. As Maxwell makes that save, we're gonna encourage the boys again. And maybe we'll get something. We are on extended highlights, so hopefully we see something. I don't know. We're getting bullied in the midfield, and Maxwell makes a great save, but. I'm not liking what we're seeing in the midfield right now. That's going off defenders left and right, but hey, we'll take that. Powell delivers it, trying to go back post. Owalu wins that in the air. And that one is blocked. Mullen wants that ball, but he's just not going to get it. Okay, here is Haddow going for the corner. Going in, and that's headed away. Oakley Boots to Figaro off the post. We need to convert those chances. We need to convert those chances. Let's encourage the boys once again 26 minutes here another opportunity looks like it's going to be going more towards rotterham in this opportunity as masterson does take it so maybe it's not maybe it's a wrexham opportunity knight able to turn it valley back off suspension and mullen gets tackled in the middle of the field Sorensen looking trying to find some space for the dulu and that is not even close Another chance, not even 30 seconds later. Maxwell delivers it. Passing it back here. Moving it around is Thomas going deep. KO looking. Football manager winging out a little bit. There's a cross. Owalu wins it in the air. Looking for the pressure. Lindsay hits the post. We heard that one. Awalu does save it, and that is the end of that one. So both teams have hit the post once in their scoring opportunities. Wow. Just wow. With a win that would propel us up to sixth, but with this tie ball game, we just have not been creative enough, I don't think. We're not going to make any change. We've had some opportunities. And there's Alex Valley. Let's go. He's tackled from behind. That's going to be a free kick. I don't know who was taking that. And look at Swindon just beat down Colchester right now. We're going to encourage the boys. Oakley Booth coming off injury just does not have the stamina to actually complete this one. Let's pull up and put in Tom Deli Bashiru here and let's pull Ben Knight over to the roaming playmaker and let's have uh have Deli Bashiru be the Sungo Volante. See how that works. Something was in the air. Palmer just does not have the speed that he duh, he did before, but the technicality is there as that's deflected and that'll be a corner. We'll 
Okay, Powell off the corner, going in the middle, and that is headed away. Powell again with the cross. Lindsay had an opportunity there. It's not going to be there, though. Deep Mullen is going to be over the night. Knight plays up to Figueroa. Figueroa has the speed, and a keeper makes a play. It is going to be an offside, though, called on Figueroa as my football manager once again is looking out. That is not you. That is the game for me. Sometimes it does that. It's Jay Haddow is going to come in, and we're going to put uh, Sana on the outside. I think we are going to change with Paul, uh, Ali Palmer. Paul Mullen is going to stay in. He's going to move to the side. We're going to have Cad come in. And then Rainer. Uh... Let's have Jordan Davies come in on the um Jordan Davies can play. Can he not? Need to look at it from here. Can't Jordan Davies play any outside? Yeah, you can play on the left side. What are you talking about, game? So Jordan Davies is going to come in for Valley uh, on the left side. Cad's going to come in for Ali Palmer. We're going to flip them around. Asana is going to come in for Hedda, who is gassed. And from there, I think we save the next one, the last one. Nope, I think we take up Ben Knight, probably. Yeah, we take out Ben Knight and we put Ooh, now that is a question of what we do there. Rainer is learning that position. But Rainer just doesn't have the passing ability. Is Davies Davies does have the passing ability. He has to play that. Let's play Davies here. Let's pull out the Noma. The Noma could play there. You know what? Let's let's actually do this. Rainer, you're gonna come back here because Figueroa doesn't know how to play this. Yeah, Figueroa is up top and what we're actually going to do is i'm going to flip this figueroa is going to be the speed up there paul mullen is going to be the shadow striker and we're going to play with the shape for right now i think this is still pretty good but we'll kind of see hopefully rainer can do something i don't know Maybe we're grasping at straws. We're likely grasping at straws right now. Go positive. Coil. Looking to move it to Sorensen. Coil trying to go in the middle. Looking for the shot. Casey, the shot. Wide right. It is wide right. Let's go more attacking. Let's start putting some assault on this Rotterham. Defense Figaro does trap it, but not going to do anything with that offensively. Yoso, the cart playing a little back and forth. Mullen just wants the ball. He should get the ball. Hopefully, someone takes the ball. There's a field switch. He doesn't make it far enough. Here's Jordan Davies. Jordan Davies up to CAD. CAD with the touch. It's a two on one situation. And, well, Rotterham easily eliminates that. not a bad attempt but i mean it's just an attempt that's not going to be easy this goes all the way back to the keeper win it in the air we don't and the speed is there on defense we're able to make a play and that is offered recovering from that so that's at least something that is something better as pal going off the set piece going in back post mullen not able to win it Powell, back post. Owalu wins it in the air. Hogan looking for the shot. And it's nowhere close. 
Come on, boys. Going deep here. I'm, I'm actually going to flip this back. I'll flip this back. I don't like how we're playing. Looking for the shot and it's not there. I like the facilitation that he's doing, but we're, we're going to push up. At this point, we need these wins. We're going to demand more of the boys. Asana to Mul... I don't know what Mullen's doing there, but it's definitely not playing good football. Because that's wide left. We got lucky with that. Let's pass it in the space. We're already giving away in space in the first place. Let's demand more from the team. Hopefully Shipley and the boys of Rotterham doesn't... They don't... Okay, Maxwell. That's a good play. Can we get everyone downfield? Let's go. Let's go. Cad, went that in the air. He's not going to. But Jordan Davies has it. Offered. Let's play it smart. Bill Bashiru to Cad. Could have placed it up to Mullen. Mullen was offside to begin. Did we give the ball away? Maybe. And Masterson can't corral it. God, that is, that is painful. We have an opportunity and we just cannot retain the ball or get the ball downfield. Here's Cad. Doesn't want to win it in the air. Doesn't want to work for it. It's a Maxwell ball. Going deep here. Cad still can't win it. At least Masterson does. Mullen, there's Figueroa with the speed. Can... God is dribbling. Figueroa, just take the shot. What are you doing? Just take the shot, my man. God, we're going to berate the team. That was bad. I don't like what I saw. Figueroa, take the shot. It's there. One point. Are we lucky to draw? No, both teams hit the post and we just could not, could not get it. All right, so I'm going to play these string of games. Hopefully it does not go well. Or hopefully it does go well. I just jinxed myself. We'll be back with the Swansea game. I mean, we have to start winning games. You're not going to propel yourself up the table not winning games. And right now, it is luckily only a six-point difference between us and Portsmouth. But you you don't win because you're, you're drawing games. You win because you're stacking wins in the win column. So... Hopefully we can start doing that. I'll be back with that Swansea game. All right, so we are back. This is Swansea. Assume Swansea City here. I think they were relegated last season. They were from the Skybet League Championship. They've had a fall since 2015 from the Premier Division in the in the eighth and progressively got relegated down and down and down and playing down in the championship until they're now down which is technically league two second level in english football it's sky about league one so the games before this we've had some good games we'll say that we've had some good games so what does that mean well we changed up a little bit and it went into a 4-0 and a 2-0 win over Forest Green and Bolton. That Bradford, we just couldn't score. Same thing as Rotterham. And here's the change we made. So Ali Palmer has been playing up top. And we know he doesn't have the physicals to run around and do what he has in the past with 6 acceleration and 9 agility. So in turn, we've turned him into an enganch. 
probably the smartest thing you could do because he did score in the last game and well we've only played about one game and we kind of went halfway through and that's what scored those four goals i think this is it this is the play palmer is the enganch figaro is the attacking forward pummelin is the uh, i always call this it's a pressing forward and advance forward this isn't attacking it's advanced i don't know why i always call it attacking Oh, we've got a yellow card. So off a combination of yellow cards. Well, he is now suspended for one game. So this one against Swansea. In this, we also had the draw for what is the FA Cup. We drew Preston North End. So we will be traveling over to them. We have played them twice and we have beaten them twice. Now the one being here was a 2-0 win. And then we played them... Uh, last year, I believe, what was the Carabao Cup? Might have been the Carabao Cup. And not the FA Cup. One of the two. We played them in one of them, and we won. Uh, we actually beat them in that one. It was definitely when we were down in, might have been year two, because we were down in uh, Skybet League 2, and they were up at one. So, without further ado, let's get into this one. We've been playing balanced as well. We're not going to play defensive against Swansea, I think. We just need to score goals. That's what it comes down to. And they're playing kind of a shell like we are, but kind of not. We're going to see how this goes. Cat is kind of like the super sub coming in for either Mullen or Figueroa. And that's actually been working out pretty well uh, for us. We got the rest of the guys in under 21s playing under 21s, but they're up here. Uh, and then we've been occasionally putting them in into a couple of games here and there. So, yeah, let's get into this. We're ready. Uh, Hayden is going to pop in for the suspension for Alu, and it will be good. So, submit the team. It's okay if you're not comfortable. Raziak, you're not actually in the lineup. So, um, no, we're the underdogs. We go out there and give the fans a performance to enjoy. Looking for a repeat. First goal is always important. And I don't see why we're not capable of turning up and playing well here. We are in Swansea City, I think, for this game. They're playing the 5 2 2 1. And we're playing the inverted of that kind of on top of the 5 2 1 2. So. Have a little inversion up at the top, but hey, whatever you want to do. Here we go. Swansea's going to take it to us first here. Makes sense. We're going to give a little encouragement for the boys to start with. Because they're going to bounce it around here. Darling, Gibbs. Uh, nowhere near a packed house today, but makes sense. We're not exactly the most established team in uh, League One, so there's that. As we're moving around here, Hayden, move out the head out, head out, looking, and just, it's not great, but Masterson and the defense play well, so, Alford, Bali, Knight, trying to pass it in the space there, good shot, and Maxwell has to block it, a little bit of pressure back here, I don't like it, but, we're absorbing it a little bit. As that one goes front post, header, Maxwell right to him. It's not a good, like, bit in the midfield. But here we go. Palmer heads it. Oakley Booth. Through ball, and it looks like it was intended for Mullen. And Mullen just couldn't get his foot up to trap the ball. Sometimes that happens. Can't win them all. Valley's there. Palmer trying to find someone and that's good defense going down here volley does touch it but dabo is there could be debo that one's over looked like a little off sides playing it through and that's off the post maxwell clears it after a pass back figueroa is there 
this is a long long bit of well highlight we're gonna encourage the boys we're the only game today that's why i think we're on tv got some tv time today we're in third in the table at 25 points trying to chase up to that 29 that is a second and a little bit of contact there they're not going to call anything i don't like that but maxwell still saves it here is vale knights vale playing a little bit there's the cross to mullen back corner oakley booth trying to cross it in his back post which is technically the front post in the corner but it all works head out again can we get something going in the middle it's not there and i don't know why but we need to change that because ollie palmer should be on the back post there but for whatever reason he is out here i'm gonna put masterson so ollie palmer should be back post Let's have Paul Mullen front post. Big row is here. Ben Knight's gonna, gonna lurk back here. That is the guy. That's what we want here. What's in on the left? Where's our man, Ollie Palmer? Palmer's going to be here. Masterson's going to be here. There's someone that's like 5'10". Okay, Oakley Booth's going to come back here. We're going to make it like this. Ben Knight's going to be out there. Where is... Paul Mullen will be front post. There we go. Okay, so let's make those changes. Come on, Palmer. Slow down the Jets. Slow down the Jets. Going way too fast there. Going in the crowd, it's won by Masterson. That shot by Lloyd is no threat to the goal. A little bit of movement down here. We do have an injury on the field. Who is it? The Rogobiom? I don't know how to pronounce that. We'll just call him Iggy. Iggy has an injury. It's a good ball up. It is up there. They will say that is a goal. I think it's definitely a goal. That's a good play. Let's go more attacking. I think that's a good timed. Yeah, that's close. Likely shouldn't have been one. Let's demand more. Palmer out here checking people. He's going to get another card. Just frustration by Ali Palmer there. Well. Oh, we got to play like this then. Maxwell. The man does work. Mullen has the ball here looking takes a shot. We're gonna get a corner. This is where we're gonna get the corners, but I think We're gonna get screwed I think in this corner if we don't change this because we don't have anyone back post Masterson's gonna be back post Okay Rose is going to be front post. There we go.
Darling does clear it. It's our ball here. We are attacking. Football manager, of course, is wigging out on me. Is that header by Fleming is easily corralled by Maxwell. Big kick by Maxwell going deep. Figueroa looked like he was off size, and I don't know what's going on with my football manager. I have no clue at all. There's a glitch in the matrix, is what it is. That's what we'll just call it as good movement around. Maxwell can corral that easily. Palmer getting sent off, that does not help us. We're already struggling at like holding on to the ball. Where's the man? Ali Palmer. I'm disappointed in you getting sent off so early. He seems relaxed. I think he just wanted to go in the locker room. If he didn't want to play, you should just told the coach. He should be angry with himself. Sometimes it happens though. And I get that. Because that was a nice try. Mullen has to take that shot because literally four on two. It typically, it should be three. Or it should be three on four, but. It's just not going to happen like that. Going here, back post. Maxwell corrals it in the middle. Let's get our guys deep. Mullen just not able to stab that. That one's stabbed by Figueroa. Plays in the space. What a move by Paul Mullen. And he missed it. That was the tie. Right there. That was the tie. Paul Mullen. Do we have another chance? He's rejected. That was the tie for Paul Mullen. Might be a formation change here. Figueroa is offsides. I think we do a formation change. You can't get the Figueroa there. Okay, we're going to make that change. That was a bad shot. Okay, Ben Knight. Is, let's do it from this screen because we're going to go with another midfielder. Okay, so Ben Knight is out. We're going to go like this with the roaming playmaker. Actually, what we're going to do is, yeah, roaming playmaker. Um, Figaro is going to come out. We're going to put Cat up top. We're going to put... Jordan Davies here. He's gassed. Ben Knight's going to come out. Tom Daly Bashiru is going to come up as the shadow striker. Um, Bally. going to come out for Asana. That's three. Uh, let's keep this right here. We might make a change depending. With, uh, with Mullen. We might put in right uh Rainer. If he is gassed here. I think he's going to be. Yep, he's going to be. Let's take him out, put in Rainer. Attacking, okay. See if those three up top can do something. With the speed and maybe they can cut through the defense. That shot's blocked. Defense has been doing great. 
why we're keeping a defensive back three. Would demand more. Maybe the speed of not being tired can do it. I'm putting another one in the box. Rainer's a tab at offsides there. Unfortunately. You're not going to get anything being a tab at offsides. Shiru, well, someone's supposed to be there. And they would be there. Rainer does corral it. Good ball. Hat out. Plays it up. Rainer does the run. There it is for Cad. A little bit behind him because he had to. Defense took a step up. Cad trying to cross it and he's off sides. Yeah, if that's a square pass, maybe, but Cad can't stray off there. He would have been off sides. Maybe you lead him a little bit, but I don't know. That's a good ball. Good save. Maxwell keeping this in. Cad can't corral that. Their defense is absolutely just gassed right now. This would be the time that we push up everyone into pushing them off. And then they missed it. Now here's the point of having all of this. We have the speed. Cad's heading to where someone should be and no one's actually there. Okay, three minutes of extra time. Davey's going to play it forward. Rainer's off sides. Head out gets it. Here's a chance. Plays it in. Cad heads it and it's over the net. That has to be on target. We're going to demand more. I don't care if we need to play more attacking and out of position. Just get there. Forcing a long throw. Hayden. Let's corral it. There we go. That pass back likely takes us out of it. I think. Here we go. Place it up. It was there. You gotta play that one over the top, not through. Play it over the top, baby. You have the play. Not happy with the performance. And that is what? Two losses this episode? I mean... We did enough. We just are on target shots. I don't think it's fair. A little frustration sometimes gets you. I don't think it's fair. Holly Palmer has not had a red card like that. since we've been the head coach of the team. And I think it just comes down to being a little bit too aggressive. That's what it comes down to. There's no reason to say he came out and lost us the game. Yes, we lost because we were down a man. We likely could have played better, more solid. But at the end of the day, we're going to send our assistant. At the end of the day, Palmer comes in and just gets... A little out of control, but it, it's okay. It happens. So Oluwu will come back in. Hayden will be back in the lineup. Palmer is suspended for one game. Going to the next games that we do have.
I'm going to play the Charlton Between episodes. We'll be back with Preston and Burrow as the one. And then maybe, because I didn't realize Portsmouth is there, might be another three-game episode. Just pretty much back-to-back there with those three games. Before we probably jump into uh, January and go from there. So, that was, well, not good. Not good. Looking at this, though, it's a Swansea City loss with two wins there in between, a tie, another tie to Rotterdam, and a win to Burnley. We did lose to Grimsby Town. So in the span of this episode, because we kind of flipped around a little bit, that is two losses, two wins in the table, and two ties. You're not going to fight up the table like that. However, we have been fortunate enough with some of the teams not winning games. But we are only, well, five points behind Portsmouth, who is in second. We play Portsmouth in the next episode. So we can possibly get up there with Portsmouth. We need to win those two games. We need to start stacking wins. This Swansea City one would have actually helped, but did not. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Go ahead and check out the live stream channel down here. There, down here, you can kind of check out that. Otherwise, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you guys next time. Later.